guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ian again. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now. Click that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get updated with my latest content. So for today's video, I know that you clicked because of the thumbnail. I know that you're here because of that and you're interested to know how I reached 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers in less than 14 days. And in fact, I am accepted to the YouTube partner program and I'm now eligible to monetize my videos, right? So this video is, I'm not going to talk about money or anything, how much money you can make in YouTube, whatever. I haven't made any money yet. I just got accepted yesterday so for today's video it's just the strategies and the techniques that I did for your for my channel to grow it's not not big guys I only have 1,000 subscribers but hey that's the requirement for YouTube to monetize your channel having 1,000 subscribers right and then monetization would require you to have 4,000 watch hours and the people who goes to your channel and goes to your video have to actually watch your content be there and then convert that into watch hours right so that's the one that we are going to discuss today so please stay tuned okay guys so for the first uh, tip that I can give you is know how to do keyword research right so keyword research so if you are not aware of keyword research these are the type of words phrases that any like potential customer or potential like a person who's like looking for something like for example myself i just go to google type in whatever i'm looking for right so our videos are like that too so you need to be able to target your audience target the exact keyword that they are using or typing into Google search and YouTube search so that they will land onto your video. So you need to make sure that you know how to do keyword research. There are different kind of tools that you can use. There are free ones, there are paid ones, but pretty much the free ones are just like the basic, but the paid ones will give you more in-depth um, like in-depth result for that particular keyword how competitive is that is it really worth targeting so you know first do your keyword research so the second tip that I can give you guys is make sure that you optimize your title and the description of the video so you already have your uh, keyword like your let's say your exact match keyword right because there are different types of keywords so it's like could be exact match long tail and then the broad keyword out there so pretty much all these are useful for a YouTube algorithm so first is you have to have the exact match keyword as your title. It has to be there and it has to be also part of your video description. As much as possible, the exact match keyword should be found within like first 300 words or 100 word words uh, in your video description. It has to be there. And the other variations like the long tail keywords also needs to be present. But you also you also have to keep in mind that you don't like stuff anything there. It has to look natural. It has to it has to give value in your video description. And not all YouTubers are actually doing this. I don't know how their video is ranking probably because of the views. But most of the you know big youtubers or big players have their youtube description video descriptions with a lot of items not only of their affiliate links or their merch but they also have you know describes what's in the video and why you know you need to go and watch it they also put in their social media links and then to build their following in other platform and at the same time, if it's a longer video, you need to put timestamp on the video description. It also adds a little bit like YouTube would actually see that it's easier for somebody to go to um to that to your video and navigate 
within a 40 minutes or one hour tutorial that you made it's easier for anybody to actually jump into the topic that you want to listen to okay again the second tip optimize the title with the exact match keyword optimize the video description with the exact match keyword long tail keywords and broad keyword that you're targeting for that particular video and then it's about using tags so I know that a lot of people will just put in a lot of tags and um, I don't know if it's even working for them but the tags have to have your exact match keyword exact phrase that you're targeting then the variations of those phrase right so if you know what I mean they're variations it's not the same but it's variation it's almost the same with the your exact match keyword and make sure that when you check that in the keyword tool that there are search um, like there are people who are actually using that particular phrase and then the broad keyword like for example if it's about uh, marketing then it's just social media marketing it's a broad keyword it so at least uh, Google uh, YouTube our algorithm will know what type of video is that and what type of video you're creating but of course they will also know what type of keyword or phrase you're you're targeting for that video right so there you go optimize your tags you need to make sure that you create a very catchy thumbnail so thumbnail is very important I don't know with YouTube algorithm like the more people that you click on to re click onto your video the more impressions you get and the higher your click-through rate I guess it plays a big role in in putting your content higher in the search engine of YouTube so it's very important that you create a catchy thumbnail your thumbnail shouldn't be deceiving people right because others uses this for clickbait and then people will start mm, this is not the video that I'm looking for this is not the content that I'm looking for so you have to create a thumbnail that is catchy enough and at the same time not clickbait okay so when we say how how do we define a catchy thumbnail my thumbnails are not perfect but it's these thumbnails that I've created pretty much follow what I'm gonna teach you guys today so you should never should never never use a color for your thumbnail that is plain and using the same color of YouTube like white black and red right because you will only blend in into the background so you have to stand out so you can see in my channel that you I have created different thumbnail variations so I have it all saved in my device however all my thumbnail have generic colors depending on what type of content I get so it's a little bit of branding at the same time and also ensuring that when my videos appear in search results it looks professional and clickable right so click through rate guys has to be higher in your video so when your video appears in the search the more people click on it and land into your video the higher the impact you have in terms of ranking okay again optimize your thumbnail okay guys so this is going to be the last tip that I can give you so I know you're passionate about whatever content you're creating so you might have already created a Facebook page and join a lot of Facebook groups that are interested of the type of content that you are making or producing so to drive traffic to that video you can go ahead and share your YouTube link to the Facebook groups that are interested again guys that are interested to your content and by that you can get tons of watch hours because people will love your content because that's exactly what they are looking for again you can share it to your to your Facebook Facebook groups and then you can also do Pinterest so that's it guys so I know that it's going to be a long process for others shorter process for others as well but the most important thing is for you to not give up and just 
keep doing content sharing it to social media sharing it to your friends I did that myself shared my video to my friends and then you can ask your friend if they like it of course they can also share it to their friends of friends so that's how you will fill your 4,000 public watch hours there's no shortcut to it you just have to keep doing the more videos you have the longer videos you have the better because if people love your content and you have like one hour two hours worth of video that you know you know sometime something like tutorial then they will stay there watch your content for one hour to two hours because they're learning something from whatever you are uploading and if you have one hour video out there uploaded and very interesting content even if you only have 100 people per day you drive 100 people per day to that video link then you will have 100 watch hours per day and if that's the case for the next how many days you will be able to get that 4,000 watch hours so again guys those are the tips that I will share with you that I have shared already and keep doing what you're doing thank you until the next video